With a game as big and expansive as something you'd expect from the Yakuza franchise, we can only try and do a review to match. Nah, I'm kidding. I'm Rob from Team Thumbs, and I'm about to butcher an attempt to review Yakuza Like a Dragon. So where do I begin? Well, as the game is still fairly new, I don't want to go into too much that may be classed as spoilers, so I'll stay clear of the story and most characters, as playing for you yourself is a must. That's right, straight off the bat, I'm saying I highly recommend this game. Some things have changed from what you would be used to from the other games in the series, but new fight styles, new main protagonists, even a new setting, but it all still feels very much like a Yakuza game. So the fight system. It's changed from the action adventure beat em up that you're used to. No longer are you building up the characters with combos, heat moves and for such. But this time it's more building up a party. That's right, JRPG style. And it works. It really does. And you still have to build up your uh, your health, you unlock your moves and everything you'd expect. Um, but this time, multiple characters, multiple jobs and multiple styles. You have to think about healers, black mages, and where do they fit into this modern setting? Well, fire attacks are, for instance, are alcohol and lighter based. Electric attacks are stun weapons. Healing buffs are through songs. You get the idea. The main protagonist has changed. No longer are you playing as Kiru, but now Ichiban. You're still a neighborhood friendly Yakuza man. This rough and ready demeanor, but as lovable as they come. A bit more clueless idiot this time, and I love it. These are the biggest changes to anything else. Uh, so, yeah, anything else would be less rambling, I guess. So this time we're not in Kamarucho. We're in a much bigger area. Uh, Ijinko, I think that's how it's pronounced, in Yokohama. Uh, which is which has the smaller built-up areas, like you used to with city blocks and whatnot. But there are also some less built-up areas. There's a massive park, which hosts plenty of bugs to catch for side stuff, and carting. That's right. Carting, think Mario Kart, but Yakuza stuff. If you've played other games in the series, you'll be used to random oddities like this. It's, uh, it's much like the pocket circuit, but much bigger. In fact, you'll likely recognise the guy who runs it. That's right, he's back. As you'd expect for our sub stories here, but I did say I wasn't going to spoil anything, so I'll leave you play it for yourself. Other stuff has returned as well. We get like the Sega arcades, we get karaoke, management has returned from uh, Yakuza Zero, and so much more. Uh, some things reward money, management does that, and if you want to do it a lot, it will help with everything once you've done it. Uh, you'll have to build up weapons and craft them and st stuff as well, so money's going to help with that obviously, as will a lot of stuff you're going to have to collect when running around. There's also other stuff to build up, but I won't go too much into that. You've got like personality traits to get up, uh, summons you'll have to go around and acquire, and the usual sort of demeanour like that. Uh, for a game that has so much stuff going on outside of the story itself, it's done an amazing job of intertwining it. I've played most of the Yakuza games, so knowing this was going to be different in a big way pushed me back a little, but I stuck with it and brought the game. I mean, what kind of fan would I be if I didn't? And it was absolutely worth it. For the studio's first try into the RPG genre, they bloody nailed it, and without making it feel any less of a Yakuza game. I don't tend to rate games in my reviews, or I haven't done so far, as you know, it's my opinion, it's not an overall verdict. Uh, if I was going to, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. It's an absolutely amazing game. Did you agree with anything? Did you disagree? Let me know in the comments down below. This has been my Yakuza Like a Dragon review. I've been Rob from Team Funs. Ladies!